I have been hard at work creating a tool that allows you to make routes in Elite Dangerous with multiple waypoints that is also able to run a algorithm that will optimize your route so that you can get through all your waypoints in the fewest possible jumps. And today I'm going to show you how the tool works and how you get your hands on it yourself. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. Today I'm going to show you a little tool that I've created that, as I said, allows you to do multiple um, waypoints in a route and simply calculating it out of game and you can then gen um, copy and paste those systems into game uh, into the game. I'm going to show you, it's, it's actually um, pretty neat. Let's just get the tool booted up here. So here we have the tool itself. And what you can do is you can, uh, can search up a system that you want to go to. Um, that could be that I want to go to Sol. It will then have um, auto-completion here, so I can click on Sol. You don't have to use it. It doesn't have every single system. Um, it only has systems that are in or around the bubble. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't use systems outside the bubble. You can still add those to the route, and it will still be able to calculate and optimize your route and have access to all known systems in... Um, in Elite, and it, since it uses the um, EDSM API, when new systems are updated, it automatically comes in and is part of the tool. But for auto-completion, so only this auto-completion feature, only have the systems in and around the bubble, and that's simply because it will take too long to cache all that up. And that's something I'm working on for, for later versions to fix that so we can get every single system in there. But for now, just the stuff around the, the, around the bubble. So once you have your systems, you can simply just add that to, uh, to the route over there. And you can also go down here. I have made a list of common locations, which you can edit. I'll show you that later. So let's say, okay, we need to go to, uh, I need to go to Farseer. We'll add Farseer. Uh, we need to go to Palin. And let's say we also need to go to Tronquin, maybe. And maybe we also need to pay a visit to Dav's Hope and to Jameson's Cobra. Oh, and while we're at it, um, we probably want to go to Shrata Desra too. And let's say that we start and end in Shrata Desra. So this is my route. I need to visit all of these systems and I want to start in Shrata Desra and I want to come back to that system as well. Now, you can also use this for many other applications than just running around doing engineering. Um, let's say that you are doing BGS stuff, for instance, and you could then store all the systems that you need to go and visit every day to collect um, as well update the, the statistics on the system. You could have that in the route here, and you could then simply just go and say, okay, now I need to go to this system here. So I would uh, click that, open up the game, Galaxy Map here, and you will see it's now in your clip holder. So if I took the tool here again, say, oh, now I need to go to Maya, click the small icon next to Maya, and boom, Maya's in your clip holder. Simple as that. It might also be that you're going on a very long exploration trip, and you wanted an easy way to share the routes between everybody... Um, Everybody who's going to participate. Now, I know that you're going to be able to share bookmarks with the uh, people in your squadron when they, once they come out. Um, but if people are not in your squadron, you still can't share bookmarks. It will still have to be shared as text files around or as, uh, as over Discord or something like that. But now, since you can save your routes, um, as you can see up here, and open your routes, you could just send those files, spread those files around. If people have the tool, they can then open it up and simply click that icon to quickly get it into their... Um, into their clip holder so they can easily find the systems. Now, of course, what we've all been waiting for is this optimized route. We can see right now in the order that I have the systems right now, it's 1500. But again, I don't really have to start and end for, for Shinrata Desra. So let's see what happens if we click uh, click optimize route here. So you can see it now added Shinrata Desra as our start system, as our end system. And instead of now spending 1500 light years, we're now only spending 1200 light years. So we saved us about 300. Uh, light years, and depending on jump range, that could be a significant number of jumps. Simply because it optimized the route so that it is um, the shortest possible route. And you can see it's pretty snappy, it does it pretty quickly. It's not the necessarily the fastest route that it's creating, because I try to, try to balance it out so it has an, uh, an algorithm that can work fairly quickly, so that it's fairly snappy, it can calculate it very quickly. But um, then maybe if you did spend more time on it, you could get a route that was even closer to or even shorter. But again, if you want something quick, this is a very good first approximation. Now, as I said, you're able to um, to save these files. So if you see, I can go in here and I can open. Uh, oh, it asked me, so, uh, do you want to save this route? Say, uh, ask, do you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. I don't want. So I have a route here I could open up. 
And you can see then, yeah, I have the route. I can then save it if I want to, can save as if, and then share those files around. Now, the files themselves are pretty straightforward. These are just simple um, CSV files, so that comma separated values. So you can see here we have a header called um, system first and last, which corresponds to the columns that we saw here. Systems, they're here they call start and end, and here I call the first and last. A little bit of inconsistency there. Um, system first and last, we have the systems and whether they are the first or the last system in the route. And that means because this is an open like this, you can simply go and you can either create those lists yourself. You don't have to create them with the program I have here. You can create those yourself in whatever other tool you want. Um, and then just uh, import them into the tool itself. And I promise you to show this common location. This is shown in here in the lib folder. I'll show you how to get access to all this later. There's a file here called common locations. Um, and if we open that up, for instance, you can see here, it's the same as before. We now have uh, the name, the system, and the group. So uh, the name of the of the location, in this case, which is uh, fast here, system name we have here, and this belongs to the group engineering. So you can see here, it says engineers up here, and then we have all the engineers, and then we have useful locations, and I've added some here. And the useful locations are down in this area here, as you can see, useful locations. So you can easily go and, and, and edit this, and then if you have other systems that you want to use, you can add that to your common locations. Now, I know this is a little bit, you have to go and edit the files, something like that. I'm working on in the future version that that's going to be more uh, integrated into the UI itself, so you can add and remove from, uh, from this list more easily. But that will come in, uh, in a later version, I think. If you want access to this tool, all you have to do is just to follow the link in the description. This will take you over to a Google Drive page. Here, you can go and uh, and download this zip file, which, uh, which is shown here. Once that's downloaded, you can go ahead and you can, uh, can extract the files. And you can see now you get the bat file, which is the one that executes the main script. And you get the lib file and the lib folder and the elements folder, which holds all the, the graphical stuff. And that's pretty much it. Then all you have to do is just double click it and it's good to go. You can then put this stuff wherever you want and then make a shortcut for it or do whatever you want. Um, that's Again, that's really up to you. So that's how it works. Um, now I think I want to go and do a little bit more of a deep dive into the technical stuff around this. So if you're not interested in that, um, link for this is, is, is in the description. And uh, But if you want a little bit more technical detail, let's dive a little bit into it here. Now, the tool itself is completely open source. That means that everything you get here is, well, yeah, as I said, it's, it's completely open. For instance, this um, ED multi waypoint was the first script I created. This is the main script that creates the actual graphical interface. So if we open that up and I get a syntax highlight that does not suck, like so, you can see here, all this really does is it opens up all the, the load my whole lib folder here. Um, and then it begins to create this, uh, it's called a form, which is basically the graphical interface. It adds the banner, it adds some new buttons. And you can see here, for instance, with the new button here, that that's the one that we can see over here, new. It has a uh, add click, which says uh, new click. So if I wanted to know what happens if I click the new button, I can go in here. I can find the script called new click. I can open that up. Sorry for the highlighting. And... Uh, you can then see exactly what that script does. And here there's a function called update route, update route length. And then we can see exactly what that script does as well. So it's all open source. And that means that you are, of course, more than welcome to make alterations. But if you do, I have just a few things. Again, if you add features to it, um, I would really love if you would send it to me because then I might consider it, um, implementing it into a final version or to a to the next version. There's not such a thing, no such thing as a final version. I'll add that into a to the next version of um, of the tool, and if you decide to make alterations and you want to, let's say you have some special things you need to do for your um, um, for a faction or whatever you do with it, um, please leave the PayPal and the Patreon links down here in the corner because um, yeah, I I would be happy if you would just leave those down there. You're free to do other things with it. Um, but please leave that area down here untouched. That is all I'm asking for. 
So other than that, you're free to go ahead and uh, make alterations to it. But again, as I said, please send them to me because it might be that if you find the feature useful, there are other people who might find uh, that feature useful as well. And if you have suggestions for features, you're also more than welcome to send them to me and uh, and I'll consider adding them into a, a new version, um, which will may, may come out depending on how... Um, um, how people find the tool, it may come out later. Uh, I don't know when, although I really have a release schedule for this kind of thing. I just do it as a spare time thing. So anyway, I really hope that you found this tool useful, or you will find it useful. If you did, give this video a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.